Hello, how to solve this is 12 power x minus 2 equals 4 power x. Solving for the value of x that satisfies this equation. So, let's study this way. We can apply log. We have log 12 to the power of x minus 2 equals log 4 power x. And from here, Remember, you have log a power b equals b times log a. So from here, we have x minus 2 times log 12 equals x times log 4. Now, let's expand this. So, we are going to have x times log 12 minus 2 times log 12 equals x times log 4. So, from here, what we can do is to apply this other property of logarithm. Now remember, but before then I can decide to move this over here. So we have x times log 12, this becomes minus minus x times log 4, this moves over here becomes positive to log 12. Now from here, I can factor out x. So we have x times this divides the x. So we have log 12 minus this divide x. We have log 4 equals 2 log 12. Now from here, if you have log A minus log B, this is just like writing log A divided by B, right? So from here, I will have x times this is log, this is our a, this is b, based on this. So we have 12 divided by 4 equals 2 times log 12. So from here, 12 divided by 4, if you divide what we have here, that's 3. So we have x times log 3 or x log 3 equals 2 times log 12. Now from here, what we can do will be to apply this other property. For instance, if I have a times log b, this equals log b power a, right? I can as well decide to move these two over here. It becomes log 12 power 2. I don't even think that's necessary. Let's just leave it this way. It's not necessary. So, I have x times log 3 equals to log 12. I divide this by log 3 to isolate x. Divide this by log 3. So from here, this cancel this. So what I have here is just x and this equals 2 times log 12 divided by log 3. So from here, 
remember that log 12 is log 4 times 3. If you want to simplify it further, you can do it. But if you want to leave it this way, no problem. Another aspect of this is if you have log a divided by log b, this equals log a to the base of b. So applying this identity here, I will simply have x equals 2 times log 12 to the base of 3. This is our answer. So the next thing is to insert this particular value for x and let's verify. x is 2 times log 12 to the base of 3. So and the question remains 12 power x minus 2 equals 4 power x. So we substitute this for x. That means we will simply have 12 power x is 2 times log 12 to the base of 3. And this is minus 2 equals 4 power. This is 2 times log 12 to the base of 3 minus 2. Right? So from here, I can decide to move this over here using the identity that I told you earlier on. So we have 12 power log 12 to the power of 2 and this is to the base of 3 minus 2 equals 4 power we do the same thing here log 12 to the power of 2 to the base of 3 minus 2 so from here I can simply have 12 power, this is log 144 to the base of 3 minus 2 equals 4 power log 144 to the base of 3 minus 2. Now, if you have a power n minus m, this equals a power n divided by a power m. So that means applying that here, we have 12 power log 144 to the base of 3 divided by 12 power 2. And this equals 4 power log 144 to the base of 3 divided by 4 power 2. Right? So from here, I can decide to express 12 as product of 4 times 3. So this is 4 times 3 raised to the power of log 144 to the base of 3 divided by 12 power 2 is 144 equals this will be 4 to the power of log 3 to the base of log to the base of 3 to the power of 144 like log 4 power log 144 to the base of 3 and this is divided by 4 power 2, that is 16. So from here, we can also apply this identity. If you have a times b to the power of c, 
This equals a power c times b power c. Applying that here, that means we are simply going to have 4 to the power log 144 to the base of 3 times 3 to the power log 144 to the base of 3 and everything here is divided by 144. And this actually equals, I can clean this now, 4 power log of 144 to the base of 3 divided by 16. So from here, remember if you have a to the power of log of b to the base of a, this equals b. So, that means we are going to have 144 from here because the 3 here is the same as the 3 here. And this one, since the 4 is different from the 3, is going to remain. That means we are simply going to have 4 power log of 144 to the base of 3 times this will give us 144 and this equals remember this also is divided by 144 and this equals 4 power log 144 to the base of 3 and this is divided by 16. So from here, what happens here is that this 144 can eliminate this 144. And not only that, if you cross multiply this 4 power log of 144 would also eliminate this 4 power log of 144 to the base of 3. So at the end, what we are having is just this cancel out, this cancel out, so we have 1. We have 1 here equals 1 over 16. So if you cross multiply, you have 16 times 1, that is 16, and this equals 1. Now, there's a problem because this is supposed to be 1 equals 1 and not 16 equals 1. So, let's trace it out. If you consider this part, let me get back to the what I was doing. Look at this part here. Our x, our x equals this. So the mistake I made was that I subtracted 2 from it. So this is not supposed to be among this minus 2 because x is just this. And from the question, as you can see, it's just 4 power x. So there was no negative 2 there. So I need to erase this negative 2 from everything. So because of that, we do not have this anymore. Have you seen that? So we do not have this anymore. So this is totally wiped off. We do not have this anymore. So that means we simply have 
1 equals 1 because this is normal. Have you seen that? So at this particular point, 144 cancel itself and this cancel this. So we have 1 equals 1. So this has made the equation to be true. The solution has justified the equation. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.